Good morning. It is a Wednesday morning. It is very chilly outside and I just wanted to share with you the um, the looks of my art studio this morning. Normally when I leave my art studio, I, I try to pick everything up unless I'm in the middle of a project and I am obviously in the middle of a project. All right, I'm doing a uh, voice narration over because the audio on the original video just sounded, um, I don't know, there was interference. But as we walk into the studio this morning, you can see all the different projects that I'm working on throughout the studio. And as I comb in right here, you can see some of the papers that I've already done a video on, the marbling and some monoprint. Uh, you can see the uh, several different, um, well, I'm showing a paper towel and then I'm going to scan over and show you a paper towel that I want to frame. It's with the alcohol inks and it is so beautiful that I had to keep the, the, the paper towel. So anyway, um, get back to what I'm doing this morning. I'm easily distracted as you can see and with a room full of, of art supplies, how can you not be? But there is some of the marbling papers that I showed. There's some Tyvek, which will be a whole video on Tyvek because there's so much you can do with that. Um, there's another piece that I've painted with some black and gold. There's some of the skins, acrylic skins, that I'll be doing a video on. And those can be put in um, your art very easily. I have several pieces of skin showing there. There's a piece of watercolor paper. Uh, there is more Tyvek. And that is an actual bead I made out of Tyvek. So I'm not quite sure if I'm gonna put that in that piece that just dried this morning. That is a piece of watercolor paper that I did some um, like gel medium through a stencil and then painted it. And um, that may be incorporated. Um, I normally do not do the background of my paintings um, first. I pick out the different pieces I'm going to put into my art and then I will do the background. This one I did the background and you can see me. That, that's just how I build them. I just go through and I grab things. I play with it and um, I may grab that. That is a piece of uh, aluminum that I have pounded down. That's a glue stick that I made a design with and painted it to copper color. There's another skin there. Um, absolutely beautiful. You can cut that up, put pieces of that in. Uh, paint over some of that after you've uh, put it on your canvas. Those little bumps are actual beads that I put into the canvas last night when the canvas was wet. And um, even that uh, piece of paper, the watercolor paper, can be cut up and added. Uh, there's a lot of the paints I use and there's a lot of my different pieces that I've been working on that are all over the floor. There's some tin foil down there that I've crumpled up. There's some more skins, there's more Tyvek, there's some of the red rosin paper that I did marbling on in one of the previous videos. And so that's a stash of papers that I can grab from. Then over here in that little nugget jar or, or bowl are some um, more, that's some, a glue stick that I've used. There are some plaster of Paris um, buttons that I've made and then I've painted over top of that. I use plaster of Paris and then I use uh, the uh, air dry clay. There's some more plaster of Paris. I've imprinted things into it or just glued them. There I'm grabbing some of the wire to show you the pounded wire that you can use of different colors. The video will have the different um, weights of the wires. There's some of the corrugated uh, cardboard that I use. I love that. I'm kind of into that right now. I'm putting that in several pieces. There's some beads. Now there's a piece that I'm almost done with. That was a painting that I already did with acrylic um, inks, alcohol inks, and acrylics. And then I've just added Tyvek, I've added some of the corrugated 
uh, cardboard, I've added a pounded piece of metal, I've added a piece of the, um, that was probably the Plaster of Paris, then I've added a piece of the um, Plaster of Paris uh, stone, or I've painted it on there, it kind of looks like a heart, and then you put it all together with a gel. There's some of the air dried clay. I made some leaves to put in uh, a painting. Uh, there's a piece I haven't painted yet. And there's just a pretty decorative, haven't painted that one yet either. There's another painting that I'm almost done with. And I painted the actual background after I chose the pieces I was going to put on top. So there's some um, Tyvek, there is a bead there, there's some music. Uh, there's um, there's the tie back I'm pointing at where I've painted. Um, that's a corrugated piece of cardboard. That's uh, some um, air dried clay. And that piece I'm pointing at back there is a piece of watercolor paper that I've I've put um, a paste on. And then you can see um, under my finger there, I'll point to it where I've actually done a beautiful bead with the tie back. And then I put a wire on it with with um, some beads. So it, that those are just little added nuggets that you're not going to find anyplace else. And you'll know that uh, you know when you enter paintings in a oh there's a there's a caulking. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to put that in or not, but that kind of just spittled out of my my caulking gun when I didn't release the tension. But I'm going to use that because it's really. Just a cute little baby, kind of a little like a baby poop. <laughs> this is cute. Anyway, there's some more tin foil, but a lot of your art pieces that you enter into a um, like juried, 80% uh, of the things that, that are in your mixed media have to be handmade. So um, there's some more that I worked on that have cracked, but I'm going to work with it. And um, I don't mind that they've they've um, cracked. I can still use them and paint them up, use pieces, use whole pieces. Here's another piece that I'm, um, I'm building on. The background is done with glass beads and um, alcohol inks and um, acrylic paint. And then I've added a um, piece of uh, that texture there are the glass beads. They're beautiful. That's the tie back. I haven't trimmed it off yet. Um, but then there's the black um, corrugated uh, cardboard that I'm really kind of into these days and um, I haven't glued that on yet. I'll glue it on with a gel. Then there's a, uh, that's done with the air dried um, clay and then I've painted on it a pretty turquoise. I think I like the balance between the two colors on that. And then there's another um, Tyvek bead that I may or may not put in that I've drizzled some of the turquoise color on. And there's some of the air dried clay that, um, that has dried that I haven't painted yet. So over um, on my chair are some of the, the stencils. Some of them I use to imprint into things. Others I will use to grab and um, use to put um, mediums where I pull it up and leave a raised stencil. There's one right there I use a lot in my uh, pieces. So I grab a lot of those stencils for different uh, reasons. Um, but yeah, that, um, you know, this is, this is my world today and I wanted to share what um, I have looking forward um, in front of me that I'm really looking forward to doing and the mess that I create and this is my world and I don't mind it one bit and hopefully you'll see more videos out there with a lot of what I'm showing you um, how to create them so that you can have fun and create um, some beautiful pieces of art yourself so I hope you enjoyed this and um, give me a thumbs up and let me know that you want me to keep creating thank you